Hello, my name is Kyle Nanig. Welcome to the Team Exmos Elecomp Capstone Final Project Presentation. Our team's technical director is Andrew Cavanaugh. He's an algorithm engineer at Exmos. He also was a URI graduate who graduated with a degree of electrical engineering in 2008, and even was able to take part in the capstone project himself. He also received his PhD at WPI. The team is made up of two designers, Steven Anzavino, majoring in computer engineering, and myself, majoring in electrical engineering. Exmos is a company that's actually from England. However, they have a branch in New Hampshire. They are at the forefront of the far field voice interface market, even working with companies like Amazon on their famous Alexa product. They produce low cost, high performance AI microprocessing solutions that allow advanced tasks to happen on the edge of networks. Exmos has just released their new generation AI chip. This is extremely exciting as it allows intensive AI applications to be brought to the edge of the network. The value of processing on the edge is that it avoids the costs associated with sending data to a central processing unit like a computer, which can be very expensive in terms of electricity or in money. The emerging Internet of Things will ensure that AI is part of our daily life and can be affordable to be applied in almost any situation you can think of. Exmos was looking for people to test out their new chip and see if they could apply it in an interesting and effective way. The anticipated best outcome of the project was a fully integrated X-Core AI prototype. This prototype should be a license plate reading camera that can read characters and relay them through Wi-Fi or USB. Many components of the ABO were achieved. However, we were unable to deliver a fully functional prototype. As a project, we were extremely ambitious and really pushed the limits of the new chip. We wanted to really see what it could do even exporting the largest neural network ever to be put on an X-Core AI. By pushing the chip so hard, much there were many limitations faced. However, much was learned, and we hope that that will help the company to inform future focus and design trade-offs. Some of the limitations that we faced was an inability to export one of our neural nets to the chip due to certain operators not yet being supported. However, they likely will be soon. Another problem we faced was an inability to export large image processing libraries, specifically OpenCV. Some team technical accomplishments was the testing of X-Core development kit, selection and training of our neural networks, Wi-Fi and camera integration, network quantization and deployment, and finally prototype assembly. The economic impact for the company will undoubtedly be large. We gave the company a first look at how the product would be received by customers. We also gave them a look at how engineers will attempt to use it to solve different kinds of problems. We also helped to improve the documentation for these future Exmos customers. There was even interest in the project from an exterior company who runs a parking garage. They realized the massive economic benefit implementing the Xcore AI in their own business could have. My major individual technical contributions include network selection and training, plate identification algorithm optimization, network quantization and deployment, and prototype assembly. For network selection and training, we decided to go with a convolutional neural net, which is very commonly found in image processing tasks. We trained this network to specialize at the license plate identification task, as we didn't need it to be able to identify things like cursive characters, or any other forms of languages. And we really wanted to minimize our network size to make it ideal for fitting on the small microprocessor. Our plate identification algorithm had three main steps. First, a neural net was used to identify the location of the license plate in the photo. Next, contouring was used to determine character segmentation. Finally, a third neural net was used to identify the characters within these segments. There was a lot of experimenting that had to go on with getting the correct threshold for contouring, as it would be extremely common for small amounts of a letter to be attached to the edge of the license plate, for example, and it would suddenly think that the entire license plate was one character. So we really had to experiment with certain width and ratio parameters to be sure that we were getting the optimal accuracy. 
Also, lots of image processing had to be done to ensure that the plates gave us the po best possible chance of success with the neural nets. We had to look through all the failure cases and understand what kind of operations would be best to improve our accuracy. I next focused on network quantization and deployment. First, I converted the networks to TensorFlow Lite, a version of the TensorFlow library optimized for microcontrollers. I then compressed both networks through quantization and achieved a 75% compression ratio, which is extremely important when trying to fit a large neural network on a small microcontroller. I next deployed to the XCore AI through the XMOS model runner. In order to do so, I had to use the external memory as the networks are extremely large. I then wrote C code to control the intertile communication between the camera, the neural networks, and both tiles of microprocessor. Finally, I did some basic circuit layout for the prototype assembly, including all the components, the camera, battery, and microcontroller in a weatherproof box. The small size of the battery that would last an estimated seven hours after a power analysis just proves how efficient the XCore AI is and how much money could be saved by employing these AI processes on the edge. Next, I'd like to introduce Steven Anzavino, the computer engineer working on this project. Hello. As introduced, my name is Steven Anzavino. I am this project's computer engineer. My individual technical contributions towards this project are C++ image processing, merging person detection and explorer board applications, and working on explorer board feedback reporting. For the first few weeks of the project, we considered it a priority to remove our program's dependency on the OpenCV library. The OpenCV library is a library intended to supplement image processing programming. We had concerns about the amount of memory it would take to store the OpenCV library on the hardware. Therefore, I attempted to suitably replace the utilized functions with code we could more directly control. As part of replacing OpenCV, we desired greater control in modifying the functionality of the utilized contouring algorithms. Our initial license plate reading code depended on a portion of Python code which would crop letters and numbers out of license plate images. We had hoped that during the rewrite of the OpenCV library, adjustments could be made to the edge detection functions. Then I continued to work on two examples that XMOS had already created. XMOS had previously created an application to detect people through a camera using an AI model, and a second one to perform an internet throughput test over Wi-Fi. For our purposes, having a system that could utilize a camera to read images and send the processed data over Wi-Fi to a computer or server would exceed our ABO. With some guidance from our technical director, I updated and streamlined dependencies to allow both programs to be loaded onto the Explorer board as a single program. Lastly, I provided some support to my partner as he worked on C-level code attempting to implement our AI model onto the board. This ranged from assistance in understanding data types to being an extra person and computer to test the functionality of Codon. In summary, this project defined a goal of reading license plates utilizing AI and a camera. From there, convolutional networks were selected and optimized for our hardware. The AI networks were quantized using TensorFlow to fit on XMOS hardware. Functional applications were combined in an attempt to exceed the ABO. A hardware prototype was developed representing how the camera and hardware could be organized in a sturdy case for implementation. Last but not least, 
we provided critical development information back to XMOS about how new users may use and experience their hardware and insight into key software problems that may be encountered. My partner and I would like to thank the following people. Andrew Cavanaugh, who has been our wonderful technical director throughout this entire project. Najib Ishak, a graduate student who advised us on machine learning specific information we may not have considered. Alex DiPetrio, a consulting technical director. Harish Sunak, the Elecomp Capstone Program Director, Harrison Decker and Elazer Lopez, members of the URI AI Lab who enabled us to utilize their hardware for faster training and experimentation.